Hi, Preacher Girls, and welcome to an awesome edition of our Preacher Girl podcast. Today, we want to do something way more fun than we usually do. And it's a lot of my best 10 finds from Amazon. So I wanted to do one of those and I want to call it 10 things from Amazon. I think every PG should have, right? So if you're ready, let's dive in. Okay, so I know Amazon has a billion great things, but these are just things I love. I use every day, if not, you know, five or six times a week. So, and I wanna share it with you. So the first are these burn bands. Have you ever heard of those? So they're resistance bands for exercising. And um, if you're lazy, I mean, when it comes to exercise like me, you hate to do it, right? But you see these bands like this? So they come in three um, resistance levels. This is medium and I have a light one in here and then I have a heavy one. And what you do is you put this right around your, uh, right above your knees on your thighs or even in your arms. So you can do, if you have dumbbells, you can use them or just like this. You see that? This is crazy. It takes your workout up like 65 notches. You gotta do less reps and it's more resistance. And if you wanna build muscle, it's the best way to do it. And this is like 10 bucks. You get three in there, it is the best. Let me tell you, for those of you who are trying to grow a booty, and can I say that in the PG thing? For those of you who are trying to get a more, you know, hourglass figure, you need some resistance and these bands are the best, okay? All right, the second thing, and you guys, if you saw my makeup tutorial, with the um, Huda Beauty Min palette, then you saw these before, but I'll show them to you again. So many of the PGs have texted me, Pastor, where did you get it? I got it on Amazon, and they're these. So this is, um, uh, it's like a face massage, and what it does is it drains your lymph, um, wherever water and fluid is settled in over the night, when you sleep, you know, there are certain pressure points. You ever had a facial before? And when they're doing a massage, they stop right here. And they stop right here. You know what they're doing? They're pressing against those little fat, um, all the fatty buildup and liquid buildup. So these are cool. You put them in your refrigerator. And then when you're ready, you take them out so they're cold and you just do this and then you hold it right there, and then you do it along your face like this. And like this, and now I don't know how much benefit it has in terms of wrinkles and stuff like that, but it feels so awesome. My third thing that I wanna show you, and everybody's heard about the Turby Twist because it was a big deal about seven years ago, right? But what the problem is, is that so many copycats came, up, came about that you get something that they call a turby twist, which is like a little piece of a towel, and it's no good. This is the best one I've found, and I found it on Amazon. Let me tell you why it's the best, because it has a button, and not only that, it's so long. Usually when you get them, they're like yay high, and if you have hair as long as mine, that short thing doesn't work. You have to wrap up your hair in there like that. But this one takes the full length of your hair and you know how you do it, right? Put it on your head like this. You're like, oh, she's gonna ruin her hair. Mm -mm, I'm gonna show you how not to ruin your hair in a minute, right? When you come out of the shower and then you wrap it up like this. And then, but of course you do the back, I'm doing it backwards so that I could still talk to you. And you see this button, it would be at the back of your neck and then you just pin it like that, right? And why you want this, it's because terry cloth, which your towel is made of, it's too harsh for your hair follicle. And your cuticle, the, 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 it um, rough, roughs up the, the hair strand and it makes it frizzy. So what you want is a fabric like this one and this is not hairy. It doesn't have that weave in it, so it doesn't pull your hair strands. And this is, it, it quickens your drying time. Like if you would take maybe 20 minutes to dry your hair, if it's as thick as mine, you'll take seven minutes with this. And you wrap it up and when you take it down, it's nice and silky and I love it. I use it every single time I wash my hair. Now this little gadget is, I didn't buy it on Amazon, I got it but um, it is the best. It's my Amazon, it's my um, shower Bluetooth. 
radio. It's, 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 it's a speaker, but this thing is so loud and it has a suction right here. So you stick it to your shower door. I have a little video and, but this is why I love this one. Dude, this thing gets wet, soaking wet. And it is, I've had this in my shower for almost a year already and I've charged it once. So it has a little space right here where you plug in your charger and you plug it into the wall. And then when it's fully charged, you just suction it right back. It takes about, I think from um, start to finish about um, 30 minutes to fully charge it and it will last a month. And it's so easy when you wanna um, sync your phone to it, the Bluetooth, you just press any one of these little buttons right here, syncs in a heartbeat and it's loud. So when you're showering, you know what I do when I'm showering, um, besides shower, I listen to podcasts. <laughs> yeah, I do. I listen to interesting podcasts on leadership or on the Bible or whatever it is. And sometimes just music because the best place to dance and sing is in your shower. Everybody knows that. This now, did you see just now when I um, tied up my hair in that turby twist and I took it out and it's still nice and bouncy? You know why that is? It's my next Amazon pick. I mean, since I... Um, got this every time you think my hair looks good or I have big bouncy curls or whatever this is what does it this is my hot rollers and a lot of girls have told me pastor I like it but I don't know how to use them I don't know how to put my hair in rollers do you know how long it takes me to put my hair in rollers seven minutes max that's if it's a really fancy occasion do you know how long I keep them on for 10 to 30 so if I have a lot of time, I'll leave them on while I do my makeup. But if I don't have a lot of time, I do it in 10 minutes. And then it, it comes out, your hair looks done. Now here's the best part. Your hair doesn't have to be dry. It doesn't have to be wet. It doesn't have to be anything. Your hair can be in pretty much any condition you want. You don't have to blow dry it first. You can just roll it up and these things will still work. It heats up. This is my favorite, it's Hot Shot. You can get it on Amazon. And it heats up in about two minutes. And then when you open it, it's got all the different sizes. You know, I'll show you how I'll do a short tutorial so you can see how to put rollers in your hair. So after you wrap them up, uh, wrap this up, your hair in this, you just take this clip and clip it on like this. Now, this is why I love this. Some of them come with pins. You get a dent in your hair if it's pins, but because of these, it does not crease your hair at all. And it's so good. And the bigger the curl you want, the bigger the curler you use. And they all heat up at the same time. So this is what I do. Let me tell you my trick. If I'm not washing my hair that day, right? Um, I plug this in before I go into the shower, right? And I go have a shower and then I come out. By the time I dry up and lotion and I stand in front of my mirror, it's, it's hot. It's really hot. I put it in my hair, then I go do my makeup. When I'm done with my makeup, I loose it out. All done. I fixed my hair. Isn't that great? I will. I love this. I love it. I have a smaller version that's really good for travel. It fits in your um, in your suitcase. Can't live without it. I mean, I probably could, but I wouldn't want to. My next Amazon find. No, I, most of you know I'm a crafter. I like crafting. I like. I just like containers. They're in Texas, I don't know if it's in New York. I think I've seen it in Jersey or on the way to Jersey. But there's this store called the Container Store. I don't even know if they're still in existence, but I used to go in there and just like lose myself. Libraries and container stores, don't ask me why. But I love a pretty container, right? But over the years, I've accumulated lots of carrying cases, you know, like makeup caboodles and and little kits that you carry stuff in. Like, I remember I used to take my, my dad or Kurt's um, toolkits and try to put makeup in it or whatever. And some of you know I do um, the clay stuff, you know. Well, I got this case and girls, I've lived for four decades and I have never had any case thrill me like this one. Okay, it was gifted to me. One of my good, good friends bought me this case and it is bar none. Girl, if you are any kind of crafter, I just want to sing a song to it because it's just so beautiful. And look at the color! 
I mean, that was just a bonus <laughs> that it just happens to be the PG color, right? Okay, watch. Let me show you why. This thing locks so tight. I've stood on this. It can, it can handle your weight, yet it's so light. But look, this is the top, right? So deep. I have all my little accoutrements in here. It's so deep, I, I can fill everything I wanna fill in there. But then, that would have been enough, you know, with little drawers, but wait till you see what's happening in this area. You ready for this? Watch. <gasps> I know, I know. And then, oh, oh. So, look at that. It has three separate containers. They just slip right in there. Most cases, that would be it. But then it has this protective, oh my gosh. You know what this does? This sparks all kinds of joy in my soul. It really does, I'm not even making it up. I, I mean, I love this. Thank you, Donna, I mean, thank you. Donna bought me this and I love it. And the color of it is just like the icing on a really awesome keto chocolate cake. Yeah, so this next item, everybody's seen it, and you might be upset that this is in here because it's boring compared to all the other things I've had. But girl, this thing, I've used this. I mean, it's the Flawless Brows. You remember this? I never use those little, you know, zzz, it just doesn't work for me. It doesn't. I don't know how to use it. You know, like Fanny, she takes a little razor blade and just goes to her eyebrow with it. I don't have a whole lot of eyebrows. Never have, never will. And, um, but sometimes, let me tell you why this is just so life-saving. If you can't get to your wax, waxing or your threading or whatever it is you do, and you have hairy underbrows, your makeup is not going to look right. It won't blend right. It won't. It will crease. You will have clumps of, of um, primer underneath your hair strands. Who likes that? Not me. This stuff just before, you know, and it's also good for your mustache. You know, girls have those too. I can't tell you the last time I've waxed my mustache. I've never had to because that thing really, really works. And then I can go to church. It's perfect. <laughs> Who wants to go to church with a mustache? Especially if you're a girl. <laughs> Sorry. I mean, if you have one, more power to you, you know, to each his own and everything. I just don't think a mustache looks good on me. All right, the next thing. I got this. I'm telling you, it was probably eight years ago. I got this, and it's made from bamboo, which is highly sustainable, which is very important to me. I didn't want more plastic in my life. I didn't want, this is wood. It's so gorgeous. It has the vents for your com um, for your computer to be, you know, get some air. Has a cute little drawer on the side. It's a lap table, but, but one of the best features to me is that, look at this. What? See that? Can you see it? Look. See, so if you can, you can prop your book right there or your laptop or your iPad or whatever it is. And the best thing too, another great feature is that most lap desks like this, the whole thing does that. You know, though, if you want to raise it up, you have to raise up the whole top of it. But this one, while you raise up the section with your book or your computer, you can still have your coffee on the flat section. To me, that was worth its weight in bamboo it was it was such a good idea and the leg height is adjustable so it doubles it can get they have these little screw thingies here and you, it can be twice as twice as high as that you know depending on how much thundery your thighs are and you can use them like that so you use this like i love it this is I, and i got this from amazon it's been i i it's probably close to a decade and it shows no signs of wear and I literally use it probably every day. Every single night before I go to bed, I read a little or whatever, I just use this, I do. And if I'm eating, if I'm drinking coffee, if I didn't have this, I would spill. 
every time, but not anymore. It's really cool. I like it. This next one, you're going to think it's goofy, but it's super fun. Okay. I bought this, I would say about four years ago, four Christmases ago. You ready? Makes me feel like a... Arnold Schwarzenegger. Anyway, this is called a bug assault. <laughs> I bought these for all the boy, well, the young men in my church. And not all of them, but the ones that I knew were gonna buy me something, I just, I always buy them something. So some of my sons who, um, they got one of these. And what is a bug assault? Inside here is where you load the salt. This thing kills flies. It is the most fun. On any random day, if you find Fanny running around my office with a gun in her hand, like this, she's killing a fly. This thing shoots salt. So it's really, I mean, it's got no chemicals, no gunpowder, no nothing. It doesn't take any cartridges. It's not like a, a paintball gun. It's nothing like that. You just load house regular common salt in it. And even if you're not a good shot, you're like, I can never aim at a fly and kill it. This thing sprays the salt in a, in a, um, a shot this, this big. So you just have to find the general direction of the fly and just get it. Last thing I want to show you, okay. This is my quarantine add-on. My quarantine add-on. Everybody's talking about my, do you like my nails today? Yes, I like them too. Girls, I um, used to get my nails done before quarantine and I know you used to as well. And I'm not trying to just diss all the nail people in the world because I, I love sitting there for an hour and a half doing nothing. No, I don't, I hate it, I hate it. I hate it. And then I hate spending $65 to get nothing done. I love how my nails look afterwards. But during quarantine, you know what happened to all of us? Our nails got healthy. They grew out. They, all the, the filing down that people do, we didn't have all the chemicals and all the stuff going on in it. So I went on Amazon and I got five sets of these fake nails. You might look, oh my gosh, you're wearing fake nails. Well, will you think your nails are real when you go to the salon? No, they're fake anyway. It doesn't matter if you put 10 pounds of gel on it, it's still fake. Acrylic. Fake, you know, <laughs> the only time it's not fake is if you're doing like just polish, right? Anyway, girls, these are matte coffin nails, right? Matte, but this is what I wanted to tell Look at these gorgeous colors. Since quarantine began, I bought one set and it came in gray and these four amazing look good on any skin tone color. I just love the gray. I wore black for the first time in my life for the, fa for the past three weeks. And um, they come in all colors. They come in primary colors and complementary colors. I just like the matte muted colors like this. But this is, this is a thing. Each set of these would last me three weeks. I know, press-ons are supposed to last five days. But for some reason, these stay stuck. And I just use regular nail glue, the little, like, let me show you my nail glue. This one, you can get this on um, Amazon too, but I think I just got this at CVS, right? It's just regular nail glue. And if they pop off, I have the rest because you know you'll only use 10. Hopefully you don't have more fingers than that. If you do, well, we can pray about that. But you will only use 10 and if one falls off, you just replace it. But here's the best part. It takes five minutes to put them on. And here's the other best part. All five sets of these cost me $7.99. Do you understand what I could do with the rest of the money I saved? I just had to share that with you. And they look good. They come in all different lengths. And you could cut this if you don't like long nails or whatever. You can cut it to be whatever size you, you, that's comfortable for you and, and whatever. So if you just want, you know, an elevated look for your hand and you know, if you're, you're into that sort of thing, try them. I mean, you don't have to follow my advice, but girls, I'm telling you, if you're trying to save money and time is of an, the essence to you, like in my life, I just don't want to waste that time anymore. And I'm not saying I'll never do my nails professionally again. I'm just saying right now, it's not a priority. I don't have to carve out that two hours to go sit there and, you know, just listen to stuff on my, my earbuds. But that's it. Those are what I consider some, wait, 
There's one more. Um, when you travel a lot, uh, having a steamer is essential. Or if you hate ironing. Not only that, some things you just can't iron because the iron ruins your clothes. It's, it really does. But a good steamer is worth its weight in gold. And I've had every type. This is not the most expensive one, but it is the best one. Um, uh, it, you know, it's Rowenta. You can get it on Amazon. That's where I got mine. I love it. It, start, it steams up in one minute. Got an awesome power button right there. It even has a battery operated feature. But and another thing about it is that it, this, this arm here, the back of it goes all, like if you were steaming a gown, this thing goes up so high, even higher than this, that you could steam a gown, a skirt, any, any length of anything you wanted. Often when you have a steamer and you put the garment on it like this, the problem is that um, while you do this, it's not taut, but because you're able to hang it right here, you don't have to put it on your bed, you don't have to you know, hold it and try to steam it. They have this cute little hook right here, so you can stretch the garment, you understand? And it gets those wrinkles out. Kurt uses it for his shirts, I use it for all my clothes, all the time. And there's just something about when your clothes doesn't have wrinkles or look like it came out of a box. You look a little more put together. So investing in a good steamer is a great, great idea. Don't buy one of those $5 things you see in the mall. Those things don't really work. This one lasts forever. It comes with, it has this really awesome um, water tank right here. You fill it up and um, it sits right there in the back of it. I love it. It's sturdy. It's got wheels. I roll this sucker on all over my house. <laughs> I roll it like this. You just hold it like this. It's got two big wheels, but it's worth it. And, and there you have it. Those are my top Amazon PG Girl picks. Now, they aren't, some of them are my favorite things. There are other things I have that are favorites that you can find on Amazon. But if you girls were looking for something that keeps giving you joy, these are just some of the everyday household items I use every single day that keep bringing me joy. I guarantee you, if you get any of these things, and I'm not getting any commission, obviously, on any of this. I'm just wanting to share with you those things that every time I use it, they produce. They, you know, you ever, I'm the kind of person who buy, I buy things. Right? If I see it on TV, I'm not a good infomercial watcher. I'm gonna get one. Whatever it is you're selling, I'm probably gonna get one and never use it. These are the things that I bought that I actually have never regretted buying and I feel like it might make a big difference in your life too. I hope you enjoyed this episode of the PG Podcast. I love you so much. And remember, you don't need a pulpit. You just need a message because if God called you, no one can uncall you.